how you guys been today's video is about the bitcoin cryptocurrencies it's very rare that i would talk about the cryptocurrencies because i don't consider myself a person who is qualified um, to talk about that although i own some cryptocurrencies myself but i think the right person to listen to would be michael sellers if you haven't heard him just google him on youtube watch him on youtube that guy is pretty much the father of this theories about the crypto now personally i have some cryptocurrencies not much just probably one percent of my portfolio i explain you guys why i have it and i will share my thoughts but again this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor just sharing my experience i think if bitcoin would not exist someone would come up with that idea because people are tired government watching everything although the united states government is not watching you as close as china do they pretty much have cameras everywhere except the toilets uh, in china but still people for some reason want to be not having controlled by anyone and obviously when the united states government uh, is although they're stating that the government is not controlling the overall currency but we all know that fed is being appointed by the uh, government and although it's independent body of the uh, government they're still trying to balance between the economy and the government now that's what real life shows uh, again i'm not an expert on the government or economy although i have a PhD in international relationships i'm just sharing my thoughts the interesting thing with the bitcoin is that when it just came up i believe it was like early 10s 2010s i've heard about that back in the day i didn't took it seriously unfortunately <laughs> However, I know personally a couple of guys that no one expected the Bitcoin to grow up where it is right now. But uh, some people I know, they got some deals in the Bitcoin, they kept it. And all of a sudden, after 10 years, they understood they are become uh, multi-millionaires. Random guys. I know a guy who used to be in construction. He got paid part of his salary in the Bitcoin. He kept it. And now he have probably, I want to say a couple hundred millions. There are just a ton of those people. Literally every other person who is very rich and you don't know how those guys got rich, most of the time it's a Bitcoin. Should you buy it? Obviously, I'm just sharing my own experience, but I would not go more than 1% of my portfolio, even less with a Bitcoin. I'll explain you why. First of all, it's a diversification. It's good to be diversified. Secondly, it's an investment. If you don't know the cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, they are pretty much working with a model that Apple stock works. They pay you dividends. So if you own some of them, you have to know which one does and which one doesn't. For instance, I believe Bitcoin doesn't, but Ethereum does. If you own part of Ethereum, then you would probably get paid monthly uh, installments. Not much, but it's better than not getting paid at all. Personally, I think Bitcoin is an alternative to the United States dollar. Some countries like El Salvador are pretty much accepting it as a currency right now. And I believe that was one of the success stories for El Salvador along with fighting the crime. It was a huge economic bump for that country. In the relationship with the United States dollars, I think it will never overcome United States dollars as a world currency. However, it will be somewhere there as an alternative for many people, especially for the countries which are under sanction right now it's a big deal now there are lots of conspiracies regarding who owns the bitcoin uh some people are saying that united states government does some people think that there was like the, the legend is there was a guy satoshi ishi or maybe the group of the people who no no one knows who is that guy is. so he created the bitcoin and what's interesting is all other cryptocurrencies i believe the second market cap was is uh, it was ethereum everybody knows that who owns Ethereum, who is the CEO, uh, it's a Vitalik Buterin, a Canadian citizen of uh, Russian origin. Thank you for watching and I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by my company. We help landlords to maximize their rental income. Normally, we take the property, say it's been rented for $3,000, we help landlord to make about $5,000 and charge about 10% from the profits. This is what we do if you guys are interested, if you are a landlord and looking for that company that would help you with getting more rent. Just letting you guys know, I'm also a realtor in California, any part of California, you're looking for real estate, property for yourself, live with a family or for investment, I'm your guy, feel free to hit me up in the DM. Very interesting person, sometimes I think he's an alien or a robot, I have like if you're watching this video. But anyways, uh, the point is that all the secrecy somehow played for the Bitcoin uh, is being anonymous and all these conspiracy theories 
made people interested in that. Can you become a uh, billionaire or millionaire with a Bitcoin? Very unlikely for last next 10 years. I don't think it will be like a very big growth. However, I can guarantee you guys it will now. I think it's trading somewhere around 70,000. At least it was when I was checking last time. Let me go and check right now. Yeah, it went down, but somewhere around 70,000. I think it will definitely pass the mark of 100,000. It would probably pass the mark of 250, even 200,000. But it would not happen tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. We need to wait. Now, it would be really hard to become multimillionaire as people did when it was costing like somewhere around four or five bucks. And uh, someday it, they woke up, it was already 40,000. 40, I don't think that this kind of growth we would see it again, but it eventually will grow because the whole point of economy that we're living right now is that the government prints money, everything goes down in price, uh, everything goes up in price because uh, there is pretty much infinite amount of money and there is no infinite amount of bitcoins. So if you don't know, there is a certain amount that they will be mining and then uh, when the mining will stop, that's really a tricky thing that personally I don't understand what will happen when the mining will stop because they will have to have people who are mining it while those are the servers that are keeping the whole system running when they will stop then it will be really interesting to see what's going to happen now again i'm not an expert with this crypto thing but overall the concept is very interesting that's why i keep some will it get banned i don't really think so because it's a really hard thing to get banned uh, the cryptocurrencies is not being controlled by certain servers that are pretty much spread all over the world if you didn't know most of the servers by the way are in china again i don't think that this could be the cause for the government to ban the bitcoin because not all the servers are in china 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 China, 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 now, China. But will it grow? Definitely. I think it will grow in price. It's just a time, matter of time. Uh, I would strongly advise if you're planning to get into the mining business to mine Ethereum. It's more stable. It's more reliable, personally, I think. Uh, and there is a person behind of it. Is there a chance of the Bitcoin uh, price go down? Definitely. There's a high chance that it will go down, but eventually it will go back up again. Now, there are different theories again. Uh, I like the theory of Dan Pena. If you don't know, it's a pretty much a personal growth uh, mastermind owner. And he had a theory that the Russia is and you know, backing up the Bitcoin, which I don't think that it's likely uh, United States government would know if it would be a Russia or China. So is there a chance for the United States government to back the Bitcoin? Highly likely. Yes, that's one of the possibilities. Uh, is it late to get to get into the game? I don't think so because it's still going to grow significantly. I would not risk with, you know, big amounts, but uh, you never know. I mean, as I said, I expect it to go to 150, maybe 200. It's just a matter of time. Personally, my strategy is just to keep some coins. For some reason, I remember I bought Shiba Inu. There was like, I was a big Elon Musk fan and he was advertising that. I got some, it's growing up. I, th I don't take it seriously. I mean, I don't have like, uh, that much amount. Normally something around whatever I would tip to the server. Yes, that's what I think about the Bitcoin. I think it's a good diversification, but it's not a strategy. If you're relying on the cryptocurrencies, I don't see really how you could make it. Although there are people who are really make living with trading cryptocurrencies personally i know a couple guys but i don't think that's lucrative as it used to be uh, back in the day i remember there were like a serious businessmen who were investing in the mining facilities who were mining those bitcoins day and night but it's i don't think that it's going to be that lucrative anymore however it's going to exist it's a good opportunity to have part of your cash invested in the cryptocurrencies because you never know the dollar might go down the dollar might go up but the cryptocurrencies, they're for sure they're going to go up. So if you guys like this video, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one.